Hello, thanks for clicking. Welcome to another Knowledge Math production. Today we're going to be talking about improper fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, so you've worked with these before. Let's go back and remember what they all are. So let's say you had a number. Let's go ahead and write down what we have here. Here's a mixed number. A mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. And then here we have an improper fraction. Which we'll talk about coming up. All right. And the goal here is to remember how to convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction or an improper fraction back to a mixed number. Okay, that's going to be important. Uh, you'll be surprised how much it shows up on your Accuplacer college placement test. So a proper fraction is a fraction that has no whole number part and its numerator is smaller than its denominator. Here's a proper fraction. One half, one sixth, two fifths. In all of these fractions, the denominator is larger than the numerator or the numerator is smaller than the denominator. An improper fraction is a fraction that has a larger numerator than a denominator. And overall, that means it represents a number that's more than one. So if you look at the improper fractions, look at your denominators, look at your numerators. The numerators are always bigger in these fractions than the denominators were. Okay, what does that mean? That means like, for example, three over two. You have three parts. You're taking a circle, dividing it into two parts, but you have three of them. So that's one part. That's two parts. So now you must have another circle where one part is shaded in. So you have more than one filled in circle, completely filled in circle, one or more filled in circle. Okay. So we're going to convert from improper fractions to mixed numbers, which have the whole number in it and then the remaining fraction. So you can see here, this is one whole and then one half remaining. So three over two as a mixed number is one and one half. All right. And we'll talk about, remind you how to do that in just a second. Okay. But again, proper fractions, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Improper fractions, the numerator is larger than the denominator. Okay, to go from a mixed number to an improper fraction, you multiply the fraction or the denominator by the whole number and then add the numerator, then keep the denominator. So if I had three and four fifths, we do three times five is 15 plus four. 19. So that's 19. And then we keep the denominator 19 over five. That would be my improper fraction. You can see the numerator is bigger than the denominator. It's improper. Okay. That's how you convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction. If you want to go from an improper fraction to a mixed number, you actually divide. So four divides into 13. Four goes into 13 three times. 3 times 4 makes 12. There's one left over. This is normally when you were really young, you wrote R1 up on the top. It was the remainder. But then when you got a little older, they told you, oh, you don't have to do that. You can put the remainder over the divisor. So 13 over 4 is 3 and 1 4. 3 whole out of the 4 can make three whole, and then there'll be a remainder of one of the last four pieces. Okay? Three and one fourth. That's how you convert from improper to a mixed number. You actually divide the numbers. Okay, so we're going to convert these to improper fractions. Here we go. You folks can try it on your own. All right? And then check and make sure that you got them right. So to convert this to an improper fraction, we're going to do two times four. Denominator times the whole number, that's 8. Add the numerator, that's 11. So that's 11 over the denominator, 4. 11 over 4. Uh, 1 times 10, 
is 10 plus the numerator is 17. That's 17 over 10. 2 and 6 sevens. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 6 more is 20. 20 over 7. 2 times 9, that's 18. And one more, make 19 over 9. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 over, whoops, 10 over 3. 2 times 25 is 25, uh, 50 plus 3, the numerator is 53. That's 53 out of 25. So these have all been converted to improper fractions. Now let's convert these to mixed numbers. Same idea. Okay, we're going to divide. 5 into 19. 5 goes into 19 three times, three whole times. So that's three whole times. 3 times 5 is 15. 19 minus 15 is 4. So that's 3 and 4 fifths. We use the denominator that's there to be still be the denominator of our fraction. 7 into 31, 7 into 31, 7 goes into 31 four whole times with 3 as a remainder, so that's going to be 4 and 3 sevenths. 50 over 9, 9 goes into 50, a total of 5 whole times, so that's 5, 9 times 5 is 45. 5 is the remainder, so that's 5 out of 9. 5 and 5 ninths. 11 over 4. 4 goes into 11 two times, so that's 2, 8, and 3 quarters. 42 over 8. So if I were you, 42 over 8, I'd reduce this, put it in lowest terms first. So 42 divided by 2 is 21. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 goes into 21, 5 whole times, so 20, 1 is the remainder, 5 and 1 fourth. 22 over 7, 7 goes into 22 3 whole times, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 and 1 seventh. There I've converted from improper fractions to mixed numbers. Okay, let's try to match up the improper fractions and the mixed numbers. You try it first. I'm going to do it this way. The first two, I'm going to convert the mixed numbers to the improper fraction. And the last two, I'll take the improper fraction and convert it to a mixed number just to get a little bit of both in. So here we have 2 times 4, that's 8. 8 and 1 makes 9. That's 9 over 4. So 2 and 1 fourth is 9 fourths. And then we have... 2 and 1 third. 2 times 3, that's 6. And 1 makes 7. 7 over 3. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the 7 over 4 and convert it to a mixed number, just to practice it. So 4 goes into 7, one whole time. 3 is my remainder. That's 1 and 3 fourths. And then 11 over 3. 3 goes into 11. 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 left over, 3 and 2 thirds. Okay? And that's it. I actually don't want to work with example 3. So that's it. As always, thanks for clicking.